Hey y'all, welcome back. Welcome if you're new. Y'all, today I I am continuing my um clear cleaning out stuff. Yeah, let's call it that. Um <laughs> series. Okay. So I y'all know I start with one thing and I keep on going with something else and something else. Well, I um was going through, I said, I decided I had to cut my handbags because I can't get my closet right because I have too many handbags, right? So some of y'all have been here with me to thrift a lot of these bags and some I did move here to Texas with, but I am, for my first pass, I am determined to cut my handbags uh, quantity in half. I don't even know how many I have right now, but I did take some down. This is nowhere near all. <laughs> okay. So I did take some down out of, cause I have, um, these big, I'll show you in the end. Um, like a, you know, those foldable baskets that fabric baskets. Well, I have a couple of the larger ones full and then I had some up there on the thing. So anyway, we're going to get started. I'm going to let you, I'm going to, I started to do this and then I was like, let me let my people see that I'm doing good. I'm getting rid of stuff. I'm doing pretty good. I'm going to be doing dishes, getting rid of dishes that are here in the house. And then after I finish all this, y'all, I'm going to be going through the stuff in the garage with y'all. Oh, I got a little right here by the door. I just had this door open. I had a little uh, net. But um, I am going to be going through the garage soon, too. Right? This is a pare down, get rid of stuff type thing. So... I decided I was going to go through this closet and 50% of this stuff has to go. Now, will I be donating it? Probably. Um, I'm not sure yet. I'll see. I'll make up my mind by next week sometime. I have, I thrifted this, right? Look at that. Dooney and Burke. This is like a mustardy tan, almost tan, but mustardy, t you know, tint to it. Side pockets. I like this bag. It's really cute. I don't think... I'm going to hold on to it, though. And I'm going to tell you why. I got a larger one this color, which I'm not going to hold on to either. I don't carry a lot of bags anymore because I don't go anywhere. And I'd rather somebody else get a chance to use this. The leather is excellent. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But, you know, it's a really nice bag. Okay, now I'm not doing the uh, say uh, like putting them online on eBay and all that because I don't have a place to hold them while I wait for the sale to come through. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to go ahead and bless somebody else with the uh, ability to sell them. But yeah, this one right here is going to be that's going to be my get up out of here pile. This one is my favorite brand. I thrifted this y'all for three dollars and ninety five cents. Yes, this is Luella. Luella Bartley. Yes. I forget the name of this bag. Stadium? I can't remember, y'all. Y'all, whoever, if y'all remember Luella, it's just a big old open pouch. I got a bunch of Luella bags. I have the um, Giselle bags, too. This one, I got this one from Goodwill, right? It's heavy. I can't even open the thing, y'all. That's how heavy it is. Wait a minute. It's a big old bag. Well, here's the back of it. Really nice. I got this for $3.95. Goodwill had it hanging on the rack for $3.95. I saw it from across the room. It was like, <laughs> right? So I'm going to be keeping this back. I know I am. This won't. This will eventually make a cut, but it won't make this cut. Because I just can't allow myself to get rid of that yet. Speaking of Luella, I got this one. This is the Giselle. And this is the large, right? Here's the little dangles in green. No mishaps whatsoever. I started collecting these a couple years ago because, you know, when they came out in like 2000, 2001, 2002, and they were out to like, I think 2009, they stopped, Luella really stopped making bags. Well, maybe 2009, 2011. Anyway, these were like between the cheapest ones, the smalls were 1600 and the largest went up to like 3600 of Luella bags, right? Back in that day. Y'all, I used to go to New York and get the fakes. I admit it. I did. And they were like $50. <laughs> and But I said one day I would, you know, because then I was a single mom and um, had a mortgage, a car payment, a job, two kids. I ain't had no dog. That's the only other th extra I didn't have. But when I tell you I couldn't afford to spend no $1,600, 
I have this bag. This is a, if y'all can see that green, can you see? I can't stand my lighting. I'm over here because this is where I can make the mess at. Can y'all see that this is like a hunter green? I hope you can. This is like a hunter green. Um, So I got this one, right? And I'm keeping that, definitely keeping this. And then here it is in lavender, same bag. I got to clean these up. I got to clean them up and stuff them. Here it is in lavender, that same bag, the Giselle bag. This one's a little lighter because what I did notice after a while is that they, the, um, whatchamacallits didn't go across the back. So this is a little lighter, less metal on it, but nice. I actually have this in... I have this in uh, um, bubblegum pink too, and but I saw it up in the top and I just couldn't reach it. It was over on the other side. So I didn't um, grab that one, but I do have it in hot pink too. And then, um, do I see any other ones? This is a Luella right here. All the Luellas I know I'm keeping. Um, most of the ones I think I'm not keeping was on the other side. Okay, this right here. Y'all, some of y'all might remember I forgot the name of this bag too. This is not a Giselle. This is a Luella Bartley. I forget. She does name her bags. But look at this, y'all. This is in white. Look at this condition. I got the, I bought this for myself for Christmas, maybe 2000, 2001. Look at that. Big old bag. And um, I got it for a really good price. I think like $40 or $60 or something. Like really good. I actually own that in black too. And I don't know where it is right now, but it's in there. So, but I am keeping this one in black and white. Now, they're very heavy. So, will I be, they won't, they probably won't make the next cut, but I just can't get rid of um, Luella yet. Okay. So, then this one I thrifted. I love this bag. This is a faux Hermes. It doesn't say Hermes on it, but look at that. It's such a classic bag. It's lightweight. It's leather. Um, you know, it's a dupey type of thing. Um, it's a really nice bag. And for a classic black, I'm considering keeping this. This is in the maybe. This is definitely in the maybe pile. It's not in the I'm definitely keeping it. But it's um, in the maybe. I'm trying to open it up so y'all can see. Um... Yeah, this is stuffed. Let me pull stuff in so y'all can just see. It's a big deep hole with a couple pockets in here, a couple zipper pockets. All right. But it is really nice and classic. And see, the way I had it in the closet, I'm bending the handles. So I'm going to have to fix that and just do a wipe down on this and store it better. But that's a nice bag. Isn't that a nice classic? And it's supposed to be an Hermes suit, but it doesn't say Hermes on it or anything, but it's that style. You know what I mean? The um, Birkin style. Really nice bag. Nice bag. So that's in the maybe. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. This one right here is another classic. This is Todd's. This is the D bag. If anybody remembers that. This is such a nice bag, y'all. Oh, such a nice bag. I remember when I found this and thrifted it. See, it even has the tods on the inside and the strap that connects it so you can make the shoulder strap. It came with all of it. I thrifted this from um, a store down in, in Dallas on Forest. It's not a thrift giant. I meant thrift world. The other little one, that when you come up in front of where the McDonald's and stuff is, I forget the name of that. It's like one of them, um, oh, I can't think of the name of it. But I thrifted it from there. And um, I'm trying to see if I had a receipt in here. No. Because I know I've never used it. But when I saw it, again, this um, Todd's bag was from that era that I love so much. In the 2000s, when the good bags were out, it says Todd's right there. And like I said, came with the, the uh, strap. So I don't think I'm going to keep this. I really don't think because I got too many bags. Too many black bags. I'm trying to pare down. So should I y'all? 
put it in the maybe. I'm going to put it in the maybe so it don't hurt so bad when I do have to give it up. This is the Luella in black. This is the smaller size. Now, this one is not as heavy at all. I know for a fact that this one will eventually make the last cut because it's a smaller size, which is what I would use on a regular basis if I needed a black bag. And it is still that Giselle. And I would keep it. The larger ones, probably not so much. But they're going to make the first cut. So they definitely are staying. Here's another one, the, another Todd's. This is the first D bag that came out. So I got this one. Um, I can't remember what thrift store. I don't even remember. Big old open. This didn't come with any kind of crossbody or anything. So I don't know. Maybe I'll get rid of this one and keep the other one. See, it has to, to tighten up the sides. This is that original D-bag from Todd's. And this is in black, too. I'm going to just sit it. Not that it's, uh, it's in a maybe. I'm going to sit it there to make up my mind which one I want to decide, you know, I'm going to hold on to. Okay, so here we go with this little crossbody. I don't even know. I am not keeping this. This is a Kate Spade. Little black crossbody. Not keeping it. Nice opening. It has a little tassel dangle. Nice long strap for a crossbody. I did use this for a while. I used this. I used to like this to travel with. I could throw this in my travel bag and it would count as my handbag. My, you know, my carry, not carry on, but like a travel bag. And then as soon as I get on the plane, I would take it and crossbody it and keep all my ticket, my ID lip gloss or any little quick snack or whatever and tuck my box my thing under <laughs> i always did that y'all hot mess but i'm not keeping that i have some i've replaced with so many this right here is um oh what's your name girl um carolina herrera i thrifted this and another one at the same time for three dollars and 99 cent from Goodwill. Back when good, all Goodwill's bags used to be $3.99. When I got that first, um, what's the one that I just showed y'all? Um, oh, the, um, what's her name? Y'all, y'all know what I mean. Luella, Luella uh, Bartley bag. This one and that other one all came from Goodwill for three. And I got one more that came from Goodwill for $3.99. This has the CH on here. If y'all are familiar with this bag, here's the CH here. This is a nice bag. It's a very nice tote bag. This speaking of travel bag, like a um, you know, handbag they let you carry on. Not a carry-on, but you know, your extra handbag. This is a nice, it's a perfect size. It's not bigger than what they accept. And it fits your laptop. It fits everything in here. And you can put all everything you need, all your cords, everything for travel. And then this still will slide underneath the um, seat in front of you on the airplane. So that's a nice bag, but I'm not going to keep that. And here it is in brown. Same bag, same tote, Carolina Herrera. Big old bag, same thing. And this is in browns and tans. Nice bag. And they're quite pretty pricey, actually. And then this is one of my favorite bags. Y'all, when I tell you, this bag, do I still have this? <laughs> Look, this bag was $360. I bought, I remember when I bought this bag from Macy's, I think I got it from. And this was back in the day. This was back in the 2000s, around 2005, 2006 era, something like that. Michael Kors, nobody really talked about Michael Kors too much at the time. I'm cooking some crabs and they over there making noise. The uh, pan. This is a classic Michael Kors. Look at that. No MK nice leather this bag has stayed with me i need to polish this thing up i think i am going to keep this and i'm actually going to take the stuffing that i had in that other bag and put it right in here i'm gonna stuff this out and polish it and i'm going to keep this this is going to be a black that i keep i know that i'm definitely going to do that see how am I, oh, this bag right here i don't know who this is by it's a nice black crossbody black leather 
Look at that leather. It's so soft and buttery. I have no idea. I never knew who this was by. I never used it. I never even cleaned it. But I got it because it was in such good. I paid probably half of $7.99 or either $0.99 cent for this bag. Probably $0.99 because I didn't know the name. Park Avenue International. Genuine leather made in the USA. So it's vintage. You can look at this tag and see, right? But look at the quality of it, right? It's got the, but look at that quality of that leather. And here is a front pouch here too. So you got a pocket here, a pocket there, and then it's a crossbody. Nice leather bag. Somebody will like it. This right here I got from, it's Hadrian. Right? I paid $70 for this. It's leather. It's a faux Birkin. It doesn't say Birkin or anything. But I love the color of it when I seen it. I just fell in love with it. And I decided I would go ahead and get it. I'm going to keep it for now. My granddaughter might want this. Or my daughter might want it or something. So I said I'm just going to uh, keep it for now. Okay. Then I found this at the thrift store. $3.99. Another $3.99er. This is Emilio Pucci. Tote. a big old hole and an inside pocket with a zipper and it says Emilio Pucci on the inside and then it has burgundies black yellow like a chartreuse pink gray really cute all the colors the Pucci colors you know pattern rather really nice so I know I'm gonna keep that for now I don't know what I'm gonna do with it then this is another Michael Kors I'm over it over it this still got some stuff in it I got to clear out. But this is a big old Michael Kors. I don't want it. I forget. I, I got this one back then too. Back in the day before the MK came out and everybody uh, start buying the stuff. Yeah. That got to go. That was from my original collection. That got to go. This is one of my favorite bags I have ever bought in my life. I paid $695 for this bag. Mm -hmm. Yep. I can tell you the year I brought it because I remember exactly what I was doing when I bought this bag. This was bought in 2007. Yep. This is the Legacy line of Coach. One of my favorite bags. And look at it all crinkled up because it was thrown in a box in the top of my closet. The Legacy line. I think I'm actually going to start carrying this on my, for my everyday bag right now. Beautiful bag. I love it. I'm going to keep that. That's definitely staying with me. This one is made well, I think. Yeah, made well. Ain't it made well? Yo, I can't see nothing. Yeah, I think it is. Look at that. Just a simple crossbody. Again, good for travel. I love this bag. The best leather ever. Made well is a very good brand. So I'm gonna keep that for my crossbody. Y'all, hold on, let me go tackle this pan. Hold on one second. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Sorry about that. That pot was over there, rake, uh, shake, rattling, and rolling. Okay, now this bag right here is Marc Jacobs. Does anybody remember these? This is Marc Jacobs, um, what's it called? I can't think of the name of it. Um, Marc Jacobs, um, what is this bag called? How come I can't? Oh, it's a buckle. Oh, I remember I had went to New York and bought this bag fake. Exact bag, okay? Back in my day, in my er younger years. I had bought this bag in New York. I did. From Chinatown. And um, maybe about four or five years ago, I was looking on Poshmark and did not find the bag, y'all, for like $40. <laughs> when this bag was like 2400 back in the day it has the two pockets they actually have locks the locks do work on these uh pockets oh no they don't the other bag i have does these don't have the locks but they just have the you know clips this bag does have no it's another one that i have that has the locks it's mark jacobs this right here with the little Oh, y'all i'm keeping this this bag has so many memories for me see here i am with another i'm gonna have to go through the black they'll all be in the black collection to see which ones i'm gonna keep then this one has good memories for me because 
Oh, I bought this. I bought two bags and one, the other one, I think it's still in my closet. I didn't pull it out. But this one is Betsy Johnson. Y'all, Betsy Johnson used to have, and I don't know when I say used to, she still could, but I haven't seen anything or heard anything from her. But when I tell you the leather, this bag right here is every bit of 25. I have bought this in the 90s, in the late 90s. And me and my son were shopping, right? And we were in, um, I think either Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Like when Marshalls and TJ Maxx really got real popular around back in the late 90s. And I saw this bag in there, y'all. Look at that. When I tell you I fell in love with it, and I was in there to buy him stuff. And I said, we're not, I said, don't ask me for nothing over a certain amount. I forget what it was. I said, because I'm not putting anything on no credit cards. I This is the cash I'm giving you, and that's it, all I'm spending. Y'all, I put something on the credit card that day. I bought this. <laughs> I swear, I fell in love with this and one other bag that I have. And that was the most in my life I had ever spent on bags. I had ne back then started me. Wait a minute, what was this? Does this have to pay? Yeah, I paid $129 for this one. And I, I want to say $179 for the other one the same day. Yep, Betsy Johnson. And I wish it had a date on it, but it doesn't. On the, on the tag. But this was back in the 90s. Look at that. Betsy Johnson. Yes. And these bags, because they were my first ones that I really did spend, and they weren't New York bags. <laughs> the rest of them was all New York bags. I wound up keeping those uh, receipts in there. Yes. I still like this bag. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get rid of it or not. I might, but I still like that bag a lot. This is Rebecca Minkoff. I thrifted this. Couple bucks. It wasn't much. Wasn't over 10 bucks. Look at that. Rebecca Minkoff with the little dots. Um, Rebecca Minkoff has some really good leather bags. All right? Opening. I'm not going to keep it. One, the color is nothing I know I'm never going to look at. Somebody else should be able to have it. It's on the a pocket on the back. And then Rebecca Minkoff's name on the back there. Um, with the chain. I'm not going to keep this. I'm not. Y'all hold me to this. Make me get rid of this stuff, y'all. Make me get rid of it. Let me stuff this bag. So I can get it away from me. Yeah, I'm keeping this this uh, coach right here. This tan coach. I'm going to start carrying it. I know these people are really going big on coach again. Lately. But Coach does have some very good bags. The leather, the design of them. And you know, Coach bought Kate Spade too. But they made Coach Sp Kate Spade a little less desirable now. And vamped Coach back up. But I still like Kate Spade. Very good um, design. But Coach will always win in leather bags. Look at that leather, y'all. Love it. Keeping that. Now, same line, same time, same time frame. Coach Legacy, that Legacy line around the 2007, 2008, 2009. I had somebody on here. One of my subscribers bought the one, the big one that I had. I can't remember who got that. The um, Elise, that it was a chocolate brown, gorgeous. I had bought that at the same time. And that one was like $899, I believe, before tax. Look at that, Coach Legacy. Same as this one, same time, same year. But the difference is I bought this one from Coach and this one I thrifted. <laughs> yep. Really good. Look at the leather. Look at the way the leather just falls on this Coach. I love it. Nice. And the more you wear it, the better it looks. It just looks worn. You know what I mean? That look. Then I have, I thrifted this, Vince Camuto. This is a nice bag. It's a nice crossbody. I'm not going to keep it. Again, uh, it worked very well for me for when I had it, but because I have to get rid of some, I have to get rid of it. But it's a really cute crossbody. Look at the size. Cute. Fits a lot of stuff, and you, you can go hands-free with it. But, you know, I'm keeping a couple crossbodies, but not full. This one, y'all, I had no idea what this bag was. It's got some glitter on it. I don't know where that came from. But... 
this bag right here, after looking into it, when I saw it, I, I knew the quality was good, okay? And let me show you the inside real quick. It's just a big old opening with a uh, zipper pouch too. This bag is called, um, the per the designer of this bag is called Kelly, uh, Kelly Wynn, okay? And it's a Texas-based designer. And this bag right here, y'all, goes for a lot of a nice chunk of change i was i knew when i saw it i got it from um salvation army in plano and i got i saw it that day it's flattened but it's wide on the side let me open it up so y'all can see um i saw it that day and i looked at the quality i was like this is leather i said i never heard of the designer look how the side is see? i gotta stuff it and clean it i don't think i'm gonna keep it this might be one I try to sell on eBay or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I wish I had the space to store them so I could put all of them up on eBay, but I just don't. Y'all, this bag. I'm going to get rid of this finally after all these years. This is a bag I bought in New York. It does not have a name on it. It has a big orange inside. One of the main things I like about it because you can look in here and find whatever you're looking for. Okay? It's been thrown up in the top of my closet in one of them things. You see that? You can find anything you're looking for. But it is an army green. It, it's not leather. I don't know what this fabric is. The, I mean, the material is. But when I tell you it looks leather and it wears as leather, right? Once I uh, fluff it back out, this is such a nice bag. It's no name. And like I said, I got it up in New York. It was just one of their generic bags. I'm going to say I paid like 15 or 20 bucks for it. I bought it because of the color back then. I didn't have a bag this color at the time. And um, so I got it. I'm, I don't, I think I'm going to get rid of it. I am. I don't need it. I just don't need it. This bag came from Timu. I'm considering holding on to this. The tote bag. This is fake. But, you know, fake is supposed to be like Marc Jacobs. And I got this one, too. This one is really bad. This one is not the best condition. See-through. It just says the weekend. That's going. But this one is a very good canvas bag. And this could be a, a nice one for the plane, airplane. And I like to keep these for my Im imaginary guests. When they travel back home, if they are stuffing the luggage, this is a good carry-on. I mean, you know, personal. Again, the size of it allows it to be a personal handbag, slips under the seat, but it can be still something that goes on free, you know. So I like to hold it just in case I want to travel, although I have my favorites. But for somebody that's here that's got to go home, that's something I could, because it was only a couple bucks from Timo. So I am going to store that. I could fold it and put it away. Here is another Rebe Rebecca Minkoff in black. It has the little connector there hook and then a pocket here and a big pocket there here nice leather very nice leather again the more you wear leather yo the better off it feels to me you just condition it periodically you know but again these are sitting in my closet they're going flat i'm like uh -uh. they got to go then I got this one that is Cole Haan. It's a gold color. I do have a gold Michael Kors, and I do have a gold, two Michael Kors is gold. I don't know which ones I'm going to keep. Look at that leather on here. Cole Haan, really nice. I don't know. This is a, I don't know. I got to make my decision. Here is a pumpkin in the Luella Giselle bag. This is another heavy one. The large size. They need to be stuffed and conditioned. And that's what's going to happen before I put them back up. They will be stuffed and conditioned before I put them back. This is a gold Michael Kors here. It's all bent up. This is getting donated. Yes, yeah, definitely getting donated. A Michael Kors. Really nice. Perfect condition. Yeah, that's getting donated. I'm doing good with the donation. I got this for going to the gym and outside walking. I thrifted this. 
It's an Adidas little baby backpack. You can throw a bottle of water, your a uh, couple dollars if you need it while you're out walking, um, some mace for some dogs, whatever you got to, living around here or bobcats or coyotes. Yeah, I'm keeping that. This is Halston, vintage Halston from the 70s. Y'all look at this. Remember Charlie's Angels? Yeah, these are the bags they used to carry. So it's a clutch. I'm keeping that. It's in a really uh, cute navy blue. Nice. Halston. I thrifted that too. And then here's a coach um, stadium. Vintage. It doesn't have a strap, but it, that, it never bothered me. That's the one of the ones I had kept. I think I'm keeping that. And then this is Givenchy. I think I'm going to keep this too. See the Givenchy? Yo, I paid $8.99 for this. $8.99 at the thrift store. It had a big giant stain, like a perfume, oily perfume stain on the back. I scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed till I got it out. And look, it is a Givenchy. And I am going to keep that too. But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to share some of the bags I had and um, me going through them. So I did get rid of probably not quite 50% of these, but I will get quick, uh, rid of more than 50% of the ones that are still in the closet. I'm getting ready to go eat me some crabs. I just wanted to share this with y'all today. Um, since So y'all know I am around here doing things. I promise you I am. And um, I, will be, now I know I'm supposed to be doing this living room tour, but I'm waiting for one more thing. I did get one of them today, and I'm a little disappointed. I'm going to share it with y'all. Just in case anybody is interested. Y'all, this is the 6-inch Drew Barrymore um, lamp. It is a table lamp, and you it takes batteries. Why I didn't stop to look. I thought it, you know, took a plug. It does come with the light bulb in here. Y'all will see this in the room tour. I'm, I did get an 8-inch, eight, um, eight too. I thought the 6-inch would be a little bit bigger. I don't know why, because this does not appear to be 6 inches to me. But this is what it is. Uh, I'm waiting for the other one to come. And then I'll be doing the tour in here. So I was wait. I had was waiting for a few more things. I got everything else that I was waiting for. So I'll be taping that within the next couple days, um, as soon as that piece comes. I, I might not even wait for it. Now that I'm not happy, I might just tape this place in here tomorrow because everything's done in here. I'm done. So um, maybe I'll tape it tomorrow. I ain't gonna do it tonight. The lighting ain't right. But um, anyway, y'all, leave me up some comments. I got some good stuff coming for y'all by the next weekend. I promise you I will be um, vlogging and talking and doing lives. And I got some more exciting stuff coming up, okay? I promise. This time, I swear. I kid you not. Well, I hope. If God willing, okay? But um, I will talk to y'all later. I appreciate you. Leave me some comments. I will talk to y'all later on in the comments. I wish I could do a live tonight, but I won't be able to. But maybe tomorrow. Leave me a comment. Let me know if y'all want to go get live. To, go get live. If y'all want to get live. <laughs> if y'all want to go live tomorrow. All right, y'all. Let me clean up these bags. I did get rid of a nice amount, though, y'all. I did. Oh, did I show y'all this? This is gone. This is just a cl clutch. I don't even know what that's for. Oh, it's a little um, evening bag clutch. It's nice leather. Who is this by, y'all? Oh, I'm not keeping it, though. Ann Taylor. I'm not keeping it. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks a lot, y'all. Bye-bye.